So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. Thank you so much. So hi everyone, today we will be talking about a very interesting software that has come in called as Olama which helps you to use LLMs into your local system without any codes. So basically it can be a great deal for anyone who is not aware with generative AI uh, who might be a content writer or might be a software developer who don't want to jump into codes of how to use LLMs locally can download this software and eventually use it into your local system. So I will be demonstrating how you can use uh, Olama into your local system and then eventually chat with most of the LLMs that are provided. So before we jump on to uh, how to use Olama we need to go to the model list and check out which models are supported so that you can have an understanding that not everything is supported. Gemma is there, Llama 2 is there that I would be uh, demonstrating, Mistral is there, Mixtral, Lava, Neural Chat, Code Llama, Dolphin Mixtral. So many models are present. So I will be demonstrating one with uh, Llama 2 today. So first of all to get started you need to go to download and then download for Windows. I am using Windows depending upon your operating system you can go for it. I'm using Windows, I have already downloaded it. Once you download it, you will get a exe file to installation. Here you can see that. This exe file you just need to click, there would be an install button that would be coming and your Olama would get installed. Once you're done with this, you need to go to the CLI as you can see here. And then call Olama, that's it. It's very easy to use. So I have already downloaded Llama 2. I will be showing you how to download models also. So I need to call out Olama run Llama 2 as this is already present in my system. This might take some time to load but uh, it should be fine. If you have not, if you are using it for the first time, the model, eventually it will first download as well. That will take time. Apart from that, uh, it doesn't add hardware to your system. Do remember this. So first of all, check out which LLMs your hardware is capable of. In my case, my RAM is pretty high. So eventually Llama 2 I can use quite easily but not the bigger ones. So I'm using Llama 2 7 billion model. This might take some time to load. So now here you can see that the model has been loaded and it is asking me for send a message, whatever I want to type. So first of all, I will be looking at all the options that are available. As you can see that you need to press forward slash and question mark. So these are all the options that are available. For quitting, you need to type forward slash buy for help, shortcuts, save model, load model, show, etc. So these are the operations that you can try out. So let me try chatting with Olama, uh, Llama 2 model. Hey dude. As I was testing it out, I did notice that the inferencing is a little slow. That depends upon your hardware. Uh, so can't complain on that, but yes. Uh, the software is quite seamless and eventually you can use it for multiple purposes. I have seen that there are certain tutorials on how to integrate with other softwares like Langchain also that I would be demonstrating soon. As you can see it has started inferencing now. The inferencing is uh, very slow as you can see but still yeah a good option if you want to try out LLMs for free. Uh, and the results are also quite decent what I checked out. So depending upon the model that you're using, the results will vary. But yeah, I tried out Llama 2. I will, I will be displaying you how you can use other LLMs also, how you can download an LLM. So out of the, all the options that I showed you, I will try to download Fi as well. So this is just the setup that you need to do. You need to install the exe file and eventually call which model you want to run. If that model is not present, eventually the Olama will start downloading it on its own. So you don't need to do anything. I think the inferencing is quite slow, so I will be quitting this for now. Now I have terminated the response. Uh, what I will do next is just demonstrate how to download a model. So file Llama 2 was already present, hence it didn't went for a download. Now I will try for Phi. Oh, Llama run Phi. This is not present in my system. So you will see that it has started downloading. As you can see at the bottom line. The model size is 1.6 GB and it has started downloading the model. Once the model is downloaded, eventually like we are able to run Llama 2, we would be able to run Phi, 2 as, well, Phi as well. So this is how you can use Olama into a local system to run LLMs without any codes. And this is a great thing. 
uh, if you are not aware of generative ai and if you are not into data science but wish to use llms thank you